the real downtown or the downtown yeah, proper is this way. Arts district is this way. And then this way is the fashion district. The fashion okay. district. And then Little Tokyo is um, undergoing a massive uh, um, construction. So the epicenter of this issue on Skid Row is kind of getting squeezed on all sides it is, by and, gentrification. And, and it's what has uh, precipitated uh, for the last 10 years here. And clearly these people are economic refugees. People don't even want senior housing in their neighborhood, much less a, a, a magnet that's going to attract uh, the homeless people. Can you tell us what's going on right now or what you're preparing for? Well, let's see. Um, we're pretty much wrapping up uh, with food prep, and we're going to be serving in about 15 minutes or so. We serve 800 to 1,500 meals. This is one small critical response to this problem. And are we even getting close to addressing that? Oh, I think we're far from uh, addressing systemically. I think the human thing to do would be to provide services right now to everybody that's laying and sitting on the streets instead of arresting them and putting them in jail. That's the punitive way of responding. So is that what we should look at next? We should look at the punitive response to this? The well, police? yes. Uh, and I, I certainly am hoping that people in, in the city council have learned after 10 years of, of, of sustained uh, homeless harassment by the police that it's not working. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's gotten worse. They're in a state of denial. They won't admit that giving people services where they are is really important. Can you explain what, how all the services are concentrated in yes, Skid Row? Yes, the vast majority of, of services for homeless men, particularly, are located right down here on Skid Row, and they have been for more than 50 years. So, so we're preserving life. But you've been here for 45 years. Right, well... There is something about the infinity of this There problem. is, and it's going to go on, and um, we don't have any retirement plans, but, you know, um, like, I'm leaning against the counter because my legs are... Um, I have a bad back, and my legs are bad, and my wife is worse, so... So we're, we're, you know, we're getting up there. I'll have my 70th birthday in March. God, I never thought I'd live that long. <laughs> Going back to the, this should be made a refugee camp so we can have clean water and toilets, yes. right?